Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? I'm the Friend, and welcome back to the next episode of my Diablo 2 lore instruction playthrough with the Assassin. Alright, so in the last episode, we did make our way through Neolithak's temple to find and take down Neolithak. And here in today's episode, we're going to be making our way through... Got our portal right over here, the Glacial Trail. Let's go ahead and head back here. And I actually debated whether or not I should show this area and the next area in this episode, just because... um. You know, there, there really isn't a whole lot that actually happens in these areas. Um, because, um, you know, they're just kind of areas you need to get through in order to get to the Ancient's Way. Which is uh, kind of where we're trying to get to. So, I think I'm actually be trying to get through these areas about as quick as I can. I'm not going to take too much time to, uh, you know, kill all the enemies within the area. I'm essentially looking for the way to the next area, and we're just going to keep moving on. I'm going to pick up that helmet, though. That might sell for a decent amount of money. And I'm going to be sticking uh, to the perimeter. I'm not even going to open that guy up. Because, like I said, we're going to try and book it through this area as fast as we can. Uh, taking down enemies along the way, uh, to a certain degree. To a certain degree. Not everybody, but uh, enough of them. We, we still don't want the XPs, you know. And uh, we're going to skip the rot walkers, of course, because we don't care about them. And it looks like we did find just uh, kind of a random area here. Actually, it's got a chest there. I just want to open up the chest. Can I just open up the chest, please? Uh, we're going to pick up the amulet and the knife. And stop, not the knife. That's okay. We're going to book it right on out of here. I'm going to deal with those guys. And make our way over this way. And rot walkers, I don't care about them. Looks like my shadow actually died. That's kind of sad. Let's go ahead and get her back up. There we go. Take out these guys. I think I heard a gem drop. I'm gonna, gonna have to find to take pick that up. Uh, pick up the spear and the ruby. There we go. I like rubies. Rubies are great, right? All right. Skipping the rot walkers. This is a dead end. I'm gonna backtrack just a smidgen little here. Make our way over here. I guess we'll take down these guys really fast. If we can take them fa down fast, that is. Here we go. Get our uh, Book of Shadows down. Help us out a little bit. Lower their defense. There we go. And there we go. Don't see anything on the ground that I really care about. Let's get my buffs back up. They were kind of up, but I'm sure they were you know, almost on the last little bit of their duration. And do we find... Oh, not found anything. That's a dead end. Oh, oh, my shadow died. Oh, you're dying. Don't die, friend. Get Cloak of Shadows out. It'll protect you. There we go. These guys are actually getting a little bit more difficult. Huh. How about that? Here we go. Rot walkers. Alright, let's see if there's anything on the ground that I care about. Let's see, let's pick up some of this money. Crown shield. I don't need to get my buffs back up, but I'm going to do it anyways. Head down this way. See what we can find. And it looks like we did find the way down to the optional dungeon that is in this area. We're going to take down this champion pack right here because we want the XPs. Let's uh, use Cloak of Shadows here just to help us out a little bit. Take down the rest of these guys and be on our way. Here we go. Let's pick up that belt. And the money. Take out this guy here. There we go. Make our way back up this way. And once we get to the next area, I believe it's a... Yeah, here we are. Frozen Tundra. This area, we are absolutely just going to run. We're not going to even deal with the enemies in this area. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to run into more of those imp uh, characters that I hate so much. Yeah, those guys right there. We're not going to deal with them. We're just running. We got burst of speed. And we can run really, really fast. So we're just going to keep running. Not even going to deal with them. And hopefully we'll actually be able to get to the Ancient's Way actually here. Maybe complete some of the Ancient's Way. I wasn't expecting to actually get through... Oh, hey, we found the waypoint. I wasn't expecting to actually get through uh, the Glacial Trail that quickly. I was expecting that to take an entire episode in and of itself. So maybe we can take on some of the Ancient's Way here in today's episode. That's actually really exciting. Especially since we're uh, skipping absolutely every enemy in this area. We actually already found it. Hey, look at that. We got the Ancient's Way right here. Uh, we run really, really fast, everybody. We're pretty awesome. All right, so here we are in the Ancient's Way, everybody. Got through those two areas pretty dang quick. 
only took us like uh, like five minutes or something like that. Not not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, so here we are, everybody, in the Ancient's Way. And what we're going to try and do here in the Ancient's Way is, one, find the waypoint, and two, find the way up to uh, the area at Summit, where we will be fighting the Ancients themselves. Uh, so, yeah, let's get to it. We're going to head this way first because uh, be because reasons. I They're not good reasons. It's it's random. Uh, I don't know which way to go, guys. Let's pick in a direction. Uh, don't be mad, please. All right, let's, uh, let's take down these guys here. There we go. There we go. All right, so we do have an evil urn right here. You know what, guys? We're going for it. All right, let's take down these guys. Ooh, they're slowing me. They're so... S okay, we got a uh, teleportation on this guy. We, we don't really care about that, right? Let's throw down some traps to get some of that damage out. And I am taking a decent... A couple of hits here. Got him down to below half health. Once I get this guy down, it shouldn't be too much trouble. I'm actually going to have to use a potion on myself. Go ahead and get a few more traps out. Looks like my shadow is actually going to die. There we go. We took him out. Let's uh, use our Cloak of Shadows really fast. Get our... Get our... Sh oh, I don't even have my buffs up. Oh my goodness. I'm so boosted over here, guys. I apologize. That would have helped me take down uh, the uh, the boss pretty pretty quick. And I did level up here, so that's pretty neat. We'll uh, do something about that in just a moment. Go ahead and uh, take the rest of these guys out. And then we'll uh, deal with our... Our, our skill points. And it looks like our shadow died again. Alright, let's throw down some traps. Get the explosion damage going. Hopefully take him down a little bit faster. Uh, ooh, what is that? It looks like we got ourselves a unique item. Go ahead and pick that up. And is there still one more, you guys? Okay. Alright, so first things first. Let's uh, take care of our stats here. And I'm going to throw these points into dexterity for right now. And maybe the next level I'll throw a few more into strength. We'll see what happens. But uh, we got one more point here. We're going to throw this into Venom. And then... Uh, oh yeah, the axe that we found. What is this going to be? I, I, I don't know my, my axes all that well. But uh, let's see. We got increased attack speed, uh, poison damage, and poison resist. So this is uh, pretty useless to us, to be honest. Uh, but... Uh, I mean, if I was maybe a Barbarian? I don't know. It's really not that great of an axe in general. Those stats kind of suck. But uh, it's whatever. We'll we'll keep it for right now and uh, just keep going here. Alright, where we gotta go here? We're gonna go over this way. And uh, hopefully we do find that waypoint. It is a pretty important waypoint because the, the engines can be pretty difficult. Plus it's the second to last waypoint that you will find uh, in the in the difficulty here. And let's just go ahead and throw down our uh, Cloak of Shadows here. Make things a little bit easier on ourselves. There we go. Taking that guy out. Throw down a few traps. Use our Cloak of Shadows. Got Mana Burn on this guy. It's a good thing I got crazy Mana Leech. He's almost done. There we go. And I could actually use a few health potions, I believe. So I'm going to have to pick up a few of those health potions on the ground for sure. There we go. All right. So I was going to pick up that amulet and that thing right there. I need like three potions. Look at that. There's three potions right there just for me. Uh, perfect. Haha. All right. So we got a few more enemies here coming up. And again, I don't really know which direction to go. So I'm just going to stick to the, the perimeter and hopefully that will lead me to where I want to be. Take out these guys here. Throw down some traps. There we go. Take these guys out. There we go. Pick up the money that's on the ground. Do not need potions. And whoop. Run, this, run right into this guy. Good grief. There we go. Take this guy out. I'm slowed. I don't preach. There we go. Alright, keep heading this way. Throw down some traps. A little bit more damage coming out. Pick up this money. Gonna head up this way. Gonna see what's back in this area here. There we go. Let's 
So you just pick up this money, pick up that money. All that good. Use Cloak of Shadows. There we are. Keep heading back this way. Looks like that is a dead end over there. Head up this way, see what we can find. And doesn't look like much of anything. A bit of a dead end as well. Got one enemy here that we'll have to deal with. There we go. It's probably more of where he came from. I actually need to get my buffs back up. There we go. Take out these guys. Looks like my mercenary is actually just about dead. I'm going to go ahead and throw a potion down on him. I'll be nice. I'll be a nice guy. Uh, let's see what this uh, corpse has. Hold on, nothing. A little bit of money. Uh, let's pick up the wand. Actually, I cannot pick up anything else, sadly. I have to run back to town here really fast. Alright, let's, uh, let's run back to town here real quick. Run over here to Deckard Kane, get things identified. And then we'll sell a few things here. Talk to Mala. Alright, so, wow. War cries, lightning resist. Uh, it's, it's really not that great. We're going to get rid of it, get rid of that, get rid of that. Um, get rid of that, um, get rid of that, get rid of that, and we'll keep you, and life, and all resist. That's actually not too terrible. I have another all resist thing in my stash somewhere, I think, unless I got rid of it. I'm about to sneeze. Hopefully I don't sneeze. Nope, no sneeze. Okay, anyways, <laughs> uh, it's a plus 10 to all resist, actually, so this is not really all that great. So we'll sell it, talk to this guy over here, go ahead and sell this. Right there, and I don't really, I don't know how much, okay, I got room in there, so I'll throw that in there for right now. We'll keep the axe uh, for the time being. Uh, pick up that wand, and get our buffs uh, back up, and run back a little bit here. Take out these guys really fast. There we go. Last guy here. There we go. Pick up the money. Pick up the money. Maul, bow, don't care about those. Run over this way. See what we can find. Is it going to be a dead end? No, it's going to be a well with some enemies. We're just going to we're just gonna say no thank you. No thank you, friends. We're going to run over here. I think we just found the way up to the next uh, two wild area summit, to be, uh, be completely honest. Should be right over here. And we found the area summit right there. But uh, we're actually not going to take on the Ancients here in today's episode, I don't think. I don't think so. Maybe. I think I could probably take him down pretty quick, actually. It's only been like 13 minutes. Did I do it, guys? I know you guys want to see it. We're going to throw down another portal right here. Uh, make sure my buffs are up. There we go. And uh, let's go fight the Ancients here, everybody. Do I have potions? Mm, I should have grabbed a few more of those. Whatever, see how it goes. If I fail, I fail, and uh, we'll, we'll start over, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and try this. Throw down some traps, kick these guys in the face. Doesn't look like they're doing too much damage to me. Just gonna face tank these guys while I'm kicking them in the face, no problem, right? It doesn't look like I'm really mana leeching too much from them, unfortunately. And we're just gonna keep kicking these guys in the face. Let's see. Not, yeah, not doing too much damage to me. That, that's good. That's good. That's good. And I don't think I'm going to be throwing down too many traps because that's going to eat away at my mana. I'm going to have to use a health potion here. Maybe I'll throw down a couple traps. See what, see how that goes. Because I'm not mana, mana leeching too much from these guys, it doesn't seem. At least not as quickly as from normal enemies. And... See, Talek probably isn't the best one to go after first, to be honest, but uh, he just happened to be the one that I clicked on, so uh, we're just going to keep going. And it's good to try and take down one at a time. Uh, it's just a little bit more efficient that way. If you kind of change uh, targets throughout the fight, it can uh, usually make the fight take a lot longer. Because once you get one down like that, you can focus on the next one, and you're taking less damage overall. At least that's been my experience, I guess. Got my uh, my shadow and my mercenary um, taking care of the other guy over there. I forget what his name is. Cor Corlick. Yeah, that's right. 
Gonna take care of Madwick here. Taking him out. Now we'll focus on uh, Korlik. Hopefully take him down here before too long. And I told you guys, this wasn't going to be a hard fight. It's not It's not like we're on hell difficulty or anything. Normal difficulty is pretty easy. Let's just throw down a couple traps. Throw down a few traps here. They'll shoot out some lightning and do like no damage to him. Uh, because my traps don't really do that much lightning in general. Like, let's look at this here. This max 118. That's that's really not, not that much. Not that much at all. And uh, my kicks, you know, I'm do. I got three kicks like right now, I think. So I'm doing uh, close to 500 max damage with uh, with three kicks, somewhere around in there. I can't really do math, but it's whatever. We did level up from that. You will usually gain a level from, uh, you know, whenever you fight the ancients on each difficulty. So we did gain a, a level here, and like I said, we're gonna throw these points into strength. Put those there. And then uh, let's go ahead and put another point into Venom and call that good. All right, everybody. Oh, uh, my buffs went down during that fight. That's not good. That's uh, not very efficient of me. But anyways, we can now make our way into the World Stone Keep, which is where Bale is. And we're actually getting really close to the end of the or end of the difficulty. That is end of the difficulty, uh, which is which is a really good thing. We'll hopefully make our way to Nightmare difficulty here before uh, before too long. So. Uh, we're probably looking at uh, maybe three more episodes for this difficulty, for normal difficulty, because I'll probably do an episode for getting through the first three levels of the World Stone Keep. Then I'll do an episode for the uh, for his minions, and then an episode for Bale himself. So we're looking at about uh, three more episodes uh, for the difficulty here, everybody. But we did pretty much, well, we actually accomplished a lot more than I wanted to or expected to do here today. I was, again, I was expecting to just have to get through the uh, the uh, Glacial Trail here in today's episode. And we got through that really, really fast, surprisingly enough. But uh, yeah, we made it through the uh, Ancients Way to the Ariette Summit and took on the Ancients, everybody. No problem. They were a pushover, right? We were just, we're just so strong. It's so whatever. Anyways... We are going to end things here for today. So if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any comments, questions, advice, go ahead and leave those down in the comments section. If you'd like to stay up to date with what I'm doing here with my DL2 lore structure playthrough with the Assassin, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I also appreciate it more to my Facebook page, my Twitch page, and my DV art page. And like, follow me over there. But until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you all next time.